Good morning, crypto maniacs. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, today we're talking about that ETF canceled, but crypto's not impacted. Shout out to the boomers. We didn't need it anyway. We're also going to share a BTC, BTC store of value calculator that I came across that shows you if you would have invested or bought Bitcoin in the past, how much it would be worth now. Uh, very interesting as well. And then we'll be covering a few more price predictions uh, concerning the crypto market from uh, bankers and from the founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, as the rest of the boomers tune in. Shout out to Lucian. Shout out to Rafterman. Guys, touch the buttons, the like, the subscribe, the post notification bell. Guys, button it up. I need you touching all the buttons immediately, guys. Uh, let me know if you got your post notification bells after yesterday's live stream. We got kicked off. We were getting a little bit uh, too serious, and it looks like we tried to. We were attempted to be sniped out by the PC police. So uh, let me know. Sprinkler Ninja says we don't need no stinky, funny bunny ETFs. What's up, Boomer? Shout out to Sprinkler. It's the hour of power, indeed. I like that. Uh, the power hour, Cryptozilla. Uh, Rafterman says liked. Lucian Bobox says yo champ got the notification yesterday and today too. Okay, good, good. I like that. I like that. And Rafterman says yo yo. Shout out to the boomers. This is a live broadcast. Ten uh, crypto maniacs here in the population of the chat box. Let's wait for a few more boomers to enter before we get this crypto party started. Today we're talking about this ETF canceled. Crypto is not impacted. Okay, the price is still solid. BTC store of value calculator I want to share with you guys. If you would have bought Bitcoin in the past, how much it would work, be worth now. And uh, it's a cool calculator. Shout out to Roger Oliver. I see you. Hey, champ. Guys, how you doing out there, Roger? Welcome back. Kaboom to you. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, check out today's mathematics over there on the coin market caps. Boom. Coin market cap currently... At $119 billion worldwide, Bitcoin dominance still there at 52.4. Bitcoin at 34, 35.92, okay? Uh, looks like it's not impacted this ETF cancellation. You know how I felt about the ETF cancellation. After the CBOE accepted ETFs, the price of Bitcoin crashed, okay? So you tell me how this is going to positively impact the game uh, by uh, accepting this ETF. So the fact that uh, it was rejected, I kind of, I'm happy about that. Kaboom to Roger. I'm sparking up the super chat. Let's go, boys. A little fiat, some funny bunny fiat off the ceiling out there. Thank you, Roger. For, uh, I really appreciate that. Two euros in the population of the chat box. Guys, drop it in the bucket, a dollar or three. Uh, you know, show love to the champ and to baby champ yesterday uh we were expressing our opinions and our sentiments uh, how we oppose uh those congressmen that are dual citizens with other nations particularly israel and uh we don't like that and it looks like uh we've ruffled ruffled some feathers and uh they knocked us off our live stream and you know you say the wrong words out there and the pc police comes after you but uh, we'll continue to say the truth out here, guys, and give our personal opinions and uh, keep it 1,000. Lucian says ETF is an effing scam. Uh, listen, I don't I, I, listen to those that are trying to short Bitcoin, okay, through ETFs and all this funny bunny games that these financial institutions are playing. It's not real, it's not truthful, and it's toxic to crypto. And we're gonna have to start calling out those uh, boomers or so-called boomers that they want to play both sides. They want to be dual citizens holding Bitcoin and holding Ripple, guys. It's funny bunny, guys. Snipe them out the box. Indeed, Roger Oliver says 2019 is going to be a bear market year, I'm afraid. That's okay. Let it be an accumulation period for the boomers. Uh, Lucian, I need to show this comment because apparently YouTube's not feeling what you're saying here. Let me show it. They say institutional money will come, but those buy over the counter price doesn't increase. I'd say sell through exchange price decrease. FETFs. Uh, ETF isn't a scam, can bring more money. Listen, it already dumped the market. We don't need these guys out there. We don't need it. It could or could not bring more money. We'll continue to build our fort, build our castles without the suits. Bitcoin took it from pennies on the dollars to thousand plus. When the ETF came into the game, 
more money came into the game that was toxic to crypto and the price went down it didn't positively impact there is no evidence that has shown that etf can raise the price of crypto it's all a bunch of speculations those people out there that want to believe in the bankers i'm gonna have to call them out as dual uh, apparently dual citizens they want to play with the banks they want to play with the bits and uh the lines are starting to get drawn on the floor guys you're either on the bit side or on the bank side i'm gonna start sniping out people out the box weird how they withdrew the etf and there's definitely something else going on i do believe that too it's kind of weird because i was expecting it to be uh expecting it to be uh accepted out there so uh you know we got to keep our eyes open it's kind of weird you're right etf didn't make 20k exactly exactly impatient potatoes right 20k wasn't due to the etf after the etf came into the line everything went down uh you can't blame an etf for crashing crypto if there's not even an etf yes there is the cboe has a futures okay uh I, I, you know it's not an etf but uh it's something similar it's another financial instrument that is based on nothing but speculation and paper trading that's not really backed by anything it's funny bunny okay uh cliff martin says kaboom morning champ shout out to cliff i see you out there shout out to Derek. shout out to Ra- uh, rafterman Derek. now that i see you did you leave your front door open for champagne okay did you leave it open last night uh, make sure the, the 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 wall. Did you knock down the walls out there? I want to know, Derek. You know I'm playing. Uh, shout out to Cliff, Derek, Rafterman, Roger, Queens Races, Potato, Bobak, uh, and the rest of the maniacs out there. Champagne's turned up this morning. I'm feeling good. Uh, a little bit under the weather here. Uh, a bit of a, a little sinusy out here. Uh, you know, it looks like the change of weather kind of got me. But uh, we're all good drinking that vitamin C out there and. Uh, We'll continue to push this line forward. It's all good. Uh, BitMEX don't help. I don't think so, Impatient Potato. I don't think BitMEX helps either. I'm going to keep calling out these these characters out here that they're just playing for profits. Because if you're playing just for profits, okay, and if profit is your only currency of interest, then uh, either you need to learn a lesson or three. Or you're toxic to crypto. It's real simple. Simple. Should be interesting to see what happens to Bitcoin price after the Davos meeting. Yeah, I was reading something about that as well. The Davos characters out there. Somebody said uh, during one of those meetings that they expect Bitcoin to go to zero. And uh, that's yet another sign that it's going to kaboom. Okay, it's the same thing when Jamie Dimon out there uh, said that Bitcoin's worthless and on the uh, on the back door, they're accumulating Bitcoin. So don't believe these funny bunny characters. Weird how people want something centralized to help something decentralized. Exactly. It's an upside down world out there. People are not thinking straight. And uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And what it takes is a few good boomers to call it out. Okay, to call it out. Uh now it's the shutdown's fault that Bitcoin won't go up. Yeah, it, it, listen, uh, people always want to make ex- uh, excuses, but Bitcoin is a runaway train and it's not going to stop. The price may go down in the short term. Listen, it may even go down to the $1,000 range. But the fact that it survived so many storms already and it's risen from pennies on the dollar should be enough evidence for you to tune into the frequency immediately let's check out today's coin market cap mathematics at 119 billion bitcoin dominance at 52.4 bitcoin at 35.92 although that etf was canceled uh the the price hasn't dumped there it is ripple uh 31 cents funny bunny ethereum 117 bitcoin cash 129 eos 243 Stellar, 10 cents. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin doesn't move there. It's at 32, 33 all day long. Tron at 2 cents. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, 74. Cardano, 4 cents. Binance at 6.49. IOTA, 29 cents. Monero at 45. Dash at 73. And that's what it is out there. Uh, Queen says, champ, how many excuses people got? But the way people are accumulating on the low through the OTC market shows true future value. You're exactly right out there, Queen's races. People like to complain. They like to say things about the bits. And on the other hand, they're stacking. Okay. And that's the same thing. Okay. That happened. Uh, when Jamie Dimon said Bitcoin was worthless, Bitcoin was a scam. And then his firm's buying more Bitcoin. And it is what it is. If it's a, 
if it's a crypto based funds requiring holdings in the bits, then I think it will be a good counterbalance to the day trade shorters. Yeah, I mean, that is an ar- uh, an argument. Like, you know, if they need to have, uh, so if it's not just paper trading and they actually got to physically store the Bitcoins, that could increase the demand for Bitcoin. But that's not because of the banks. That's just because of the economic model. It's just an increase of the demand. So, I mean, I don't care about these banks, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. I want them out of the box. Uh, I'm not against a wall champ, but the fact that most illegals and drugs come through a legal point of entry. Uh, I'm not against the wall, but it's fact that most illegals and illegal drums comes through the le- illegal point of entry. I don't know if that's a fact, Derek. Okay. That's, that, you know, it may or may not be, uh, you know, and it could be, you know, 60, 40, some may come in through the plane. Some may come in through legal points of entry, but we need to secure the wall better. The fact that, uh, you know, we can't stop everything is not an excuse not to make a move. Okay, that's not it's not uh, positive thinking. It's like people are coming in through the back door. Keep the front door open is retarded. I don't believe that. Rafterman says, bring, uh, bring on the bear. We got our guns. Let's hunt bear and accumulate off the bear's back. Uh, yeah, bring on the bears. You're right. Uh, LTC holding strong lately. Indeed, Queen's races. Impatient Potato says, it's fact. Uh, don't know what you mean. Which one is fact? I mean, I'm saying so many things, uh, but that's what it is. This wall talk is crazy, says Marlon Jones. Uh, listen, I can't believe people are even arguing. it. It's a smokescreen. I think CryptoZilla said it yesterday. He says, uh, you know, it's a smokescreen. It's a smokescreen. Uh, it's such a, uh, you know, it's, it's, I can't believe people are even uh arguing about this uh and you're probably right cryptozilla it's a smoke screen and there's something else going on in the background uh derek says okay fair i respect your opinion i I respect yours as well i respect yours as well derek it's all good uh so there there we go guys i checked out the market caps and uh we ran it down nothing is too exciting today let's look at the the winners, Hollow Chain. I've talked about this before. It's, it's pumping Pundi X. I think some of the boomers have mentioned that. Aurora, this is a new one I was looking at the other day. Uh, I'm not convinced. Pivix, I like. I've talked about Pivix before. It's a privacy coin. And then Mixin, I covered this one like a week or two ago. And they have like a little messenger app that allows you to send crypto within the messenger app. And uh, actually, I was looking at this one, I think yesterday, the day before on my own time. I said, oh, it's down. Maybe it's a good pick for the portfolio or whatnot. And look at it. It went up. Uh, We got Elf, Linky. Zero X is moving up as well. We got that in our community portfolio. Uh, So keep an eye on that. Maybe we should take some profits uh, eventually. And then Lisk, I like Lisk as well. Let's see what the losers are. See if there's any good deals today. A loop ring, don't know much about that. 10x, uh, I like 10x, but I, you know I'm not convinced that this one's gonna float long term. I, I haven't seen them deliver the cards to the U.S. This is like a crypto debit card. Uh, Boogie Ra, uh, buggy raw coin, I don't know. Sounds funny. Steam is down uh, after the good news, or I don't know if it's so much good news, but after the news that. Uh, the CEO has stepped down and there's a new CEO for the steam it incorporated. Uh, you know, maybe there was the rumor was what, uh, drove the price up last week. And then the news that they actually changed the CEOs, what caused the price to di- dump. So, you know, it's buy the rumor, sell the news. So champ, I can't super chat because government shut down. <laughs> Shout out to Queens races. Let me drop a bomb for you. Queens races. Boom. Uh, can't even super chat the, the government shut down. That's funny. Uh, Queens races with $2 there in the population of the chat box. Two funny bony fiat dollars out there. Queens races always showing love. Follow the lead of the crypto brother and show love. If you find value in this stream, drop a, a dollar or three in the bucket and, uh, you know, support what you like out there. Because if you're not supporting what you like, then uh, how do you expect it to grow, guys? Uh, because definitely YouTube is not supporting us when they're sniping us out the box here and uh, arguably idling our viewership. I mean, we got 15, about 15,000 subs, shortly uh, less than 15,000 subs. And, uh, you know, the video's got 100 to 200 views. I mean, that doesn't make sense. Uh, greetings all. Uh, shout out to Made Event. I see you. Sprinkler Ninja says, I got some steam on sale this morning. I think it's going to kaboom soon. Yeah, uh, I like it. I'm, you know, I'm a long-term steamosaurus, uh, you know. I'm still, I still believe in this blockchain. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, the wall's nonsense, a smokescreen. Trump could uh, get the funding through a national security declaration if he wanted. Uh, he's using this scuffle as a way to keep the government shut down going past 30 days. I think so. I think there's a long-term uh, strategy here. And uh, the fact is, as th- the longer the government shut down, okay, uh, I think it starts showing people that the majority of our taxes are going to nothing. I mean, most people are not impacted unless you work for the government and you're not getting a check. So, you know, 
that's what it is uh we should do a whole entire stream about the shutdown and the wall because it seems like you guys talk, like talking about it maybe we'll uh talk more about that in detail during our live uh stream tomorrow when we have open discussions in our general self-improvement chat uh marlon says they say they're taking our jobs from what i see low-wage americans would rather get a check from uncle sugar disability than build a roof or pick fruit or clean rooms but, yeah that's true but uh you know if they didn't get the check and if there wasn't someone else to build a roof or pick their fruits, perhaps that would be motivation for, for them to get off their fat asses and start making movements. And it's not about stealing jobs either, Marlon. It's about, uh, you know, it's about protecting the culture and it's about also keeping uh, those that want to corrupt uh, the the government out and those that, that, that are pr probably going to end up voting for blue and uh, we don't want that. We don't want that. I was just uh, I, I was just checking out some news uh, that now New York State just approved uh, abortions in the third trimester. So I mean, like literally, uh, you know, you could now abort a baby in month eight. Okay, and this is the type of things they want people to vote for. And and, and it's it's evil, if you ask me. I, I you know, it's either evil or ignorant. Uh, so you know, I don't want them. Putin is loving the shutdown. Wake up. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know out there uh i do agree 100 percent with the champ we need a smaller government exactly we do need a smaller government we need a smaller government forget about putin and uh we need a smaller government that's the bottom line here these taxes that we're paying here 30 40 percent and uh what is it really doing guys definitely evil the new law is disgusting yeah we're gonna have to talk about it too it's disgusting and uh that's what they want you to do guys continue to vote for progress quote unquote progressiveness okay and uh really it's just one foot in the door and uh you know before you know it they're just gonna start ab aborting children uh after the after the birth right i mean it's 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 a corruption out there it's a uh I disagree, Marlon. This is not about racism at all. I actually a thousand percent disagree. Uh, but, you know, again, I don't think this is what this live stream is about. We don't need no government, says Bronson. Uh, no illegals from Mexico would abort a baby that uh, late most Hispanics are Catholics, which is what Republicans are all about. Well, you'll see that most, uh, uh, the, that not most, but there's a, a growing, a uh, uh, a growing part of the Hispanic population that they're, uh, they're for the wall. Okay. Uh, because they, they understand, uh, you know, if you let things run rapid, things are going to end up being a shithole like their country. Bunch of homeless here in LA. Most don't want to work. Uh, want out the rat race. I don't blame him. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, let, let's let's go ahead and talk about this ETF canceled. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. <laughs> it looks like everybody's super uh, politically charged yesterday and today. I'm gonna leave that talk for tomorrow, and uh, you know you know champagne gets turned up. Uh, we'll we'll leave it for tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about this ETF though. Let's talk about this ETF. So I, I have this uh, article link down below it says crypto analyst bitcoin strong after etf mishap is a sign of the bottom now let me let, let me know what you guys think okay um van Eck, us shut down curb bitcoin discussions with the sec so after so much speculation that this van Eck was going to get approved this etf it's finally rejected and i gotta say i i believe that this thing was eventually going to get uh approved it hasn't been okay it hasn't been uh, crypto. Mar uh, so what what has the price been impacted? Absolutely not. OK, we see here the price is solid as a rock at thirty thirty five eighty nine thirty five eighty nine. OK, so, you know, it seems to me like people don't want to sell under three thousand at this point. OK, it seems to me like people don't want to sell under three thousand, even if the ETF is not approved. There's the article, okay? Um, mar crypto market holds after ETF withdrawal. So there it is. Check out this tweet by Moon Overlord. He says, ETF withdrawn and we didn't move an inch. Looks like people don't want to sell at 3,500. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm starting to see a bottom. So do you agree? Do you agree? Okay? Do you think that we're at a bottom? I, I'm starting to think it's possible, okay? But I don't want to be naive and think that things can't go lower. Bitcoin Rhodium was just listed on PDB 
there's a good article about the coin on Cointelegraph. There's a use case, a store of value. Price was under a dollar last October, and now it's at uh, $25. I never heard of Bitcoin Rhodium. Did you get my super chat, says Rafterman? Did I? Let me see. Rafterman. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see that one. I was here reading it. Boom. Almost rolled truck, so maybe short on super chat. Shout out to Rafterman. I thank you, Rafterman. I completely slipped by. So much super chats. I'm looking at so many things right here that I missed that one. Thank you, Rafterman, for the $2. I appreciate you. Let me throw a couple dollar bills off this, guys. Mark D says, let him find a, another job and stop crying like little... Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, Marlon st- still with the, he thinks it's racism. I don't, I, I disagree, Marlon. Uh, you know, and uh, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it right there. As far as like saying MAGA's KKK, there has no, as far as this stream, uh, I don't want none of that here. Okay. I don't believe that MAGA's KKK. That's BS in my personal opinion. Now you have your own personal opinion. That's fine. But I don't want that in this chat. There's, in my opinion, there's nothing with racism between MAGA and that's mainstream media hype. So, uh, I would say th- just don't bring that over here. I-, I don't I don't want that over here. I don't want any talks about racism on the left or right. It has nothing to do with that. I, I you know, I- I'm going to say that's it's BS and uh, you're entitled to your opinion. But I, I completely disagree. And I-, I don't want that here. So, uh, you know, we can leave it at that. Because it to me, it's not at all. I mean, for, forget about that. I, I don't I don't even want to be talking about racism because to me, it's way past that. I, you know, it's it, I think the very fact that that's being brought up is what the mainstream wants us to discuss. Champ, did you, uh, did you uh, find out what happened in Venezuela? They're booting us out. Yeah. It looks like we may go at it with Venezuela. We're going to talk about the politics on Friday and uh, we could actually, you know, we can get deeper into it and I respect everybody's opinion. Uh, but you know, I don't want to be having arguments about racism and stuff like that, because that's the least thing that, uh, that I even want to address that that we, we want to show love here. So forget about it. Uh, Marlon says, I respect your wishes on this channel champ, but I'll call a spade a spade. And I, and that's cool, Marlon, but you know, I, I, we disagree and I, I don't think that it's worth us to be fighting over that, whether it's racist or not. So that's cool. I mean, we'll leave it at that. Mag is not racist nor anti-immigrant. My parents are immigrants and don't think what Trump is saying is harmful to immigrants. Right. Yeah. And, and listen, uh, I, you know, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, try to get into this argument, whether it is or it isn't. You know how I feel. I don't think it is. And I don't find it uh, worth our time to argue it because we're crypto brothers here. If, if, if Marlon has a different opinion, then that's good. I'm not going to, I don't want to argue with Marlon. Marlon's a good dude. I don't want to argue with him. And that's exactly what they would want us to uh, argue against one of our crypto brothers, okay? Just because he's looking at things differently. Getting mind fucked with them against us is what they would top once. Yeah, back to the good crypto word. It's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not arguing here with uh, our crypto brothers at all. I, I'm not going to d- let that divide us at all. I respect Marlon, and uh, if he looks at things differently, that's all good, Marlon. I hope, you know, maybe we could find a middle ground. If not, we could find middle grounds on other coins or whatnot. It's all good. I respect him. Media wants to keep us divided. If we unite, they lose. Exactly. We'll, we'll unite. That's the thing. That's why I don't want to be d- d- debating whether things are racist. It's not. Just throw it out the box. That We don't need that. There's no, there's no debate. It's, we're all crypto brothers here. Even debating it, I think, brings attention to it. And I said that, you know, sometimes you just got to remove the dooming mind state and stay with the booming mind state. That's how I'm rolling with it. So, you know, that's what works for me. Anyhow, let's talk talk about this BTC store of value calculator. This is something that's pretty cool. And uh, it can make some baby bear cubs, some no no coiners feel some type of way. So check this out. Store of value dot clavstone dot IO. I may have this. Yeah, I have this link down below. And uh, uh, greetings, no coiner, says the website. We've put together this handy calculator to show you how much value you didn't store in Bitcoin. Uh, good luck with the stable coins. I, I love it already. This Whoever made this site, uh, Clavestone or Clavestone, I like that. Uh, store a value calculator. So let's say if you spent $100 on Bitcoin in the month of January 2011, it would be worth $1. Point two million dollars today only 100 dollars out there and they're trying to tell you that bitcoin is a scam 
And they're trying to tell you that the banks are going to bring more money into crypto. Guys, check it out. If you would have spent $100 on Bitcoin January 2011, it'd be worth $1.2 million. Okay, how about February of 2011? 518000 Let's say January of 2014. It would be $400. So it's still, you'd be up three, uh, 300%. Now you'll see the only losing months would be something like... Uh, even if you would have bought in January 2018, you'd be down, okay? So let's say if you bought January 2019, you'd probably be, you wouldn't be down. You'd be about even. So this is an interesting calculator, uh, you know, when you're talking with your friends or whatnot. You know, most of the time, if you would have bought Bitcoin, uh, it seems like more than 50% of the time, uh, you would have been up. Champ, did you look at the Bible verse from yesterday? Absolutely did about building the wall out there, Ezekiel. And uh, I don't have it here and I'm not remembering the verse, but yeah, I, I did re read it immediately after the live stream. You know, I'm into the good book or whatnot. So that's what it is. Uh, this is why I trust BTC respects every, anybody's opinion, truly egalitarian, why it's superior money. There we go. That's something we could agree upon, Marlon. And I appreciate Marlon. And I, and I, uh, I encourage you to drop your, uh, your, your comments here and your opinions. But, you know, I, I don't really want to get into the racism talk because I'm not interested with that. I think uh, I, I want to I wanna let that go, Marlon. That, that's what it is. Crypto, uh, crypto truly has power to, do, to unite the world and create true global censorship, free global economy. Screw the banks and world governments. McAfee for president. This dude is on the run for the IRS. Yeah, I seen him out there. But uh, to keep it 1,000 with you, I, I'm, I'm not attracted to McAfee. I'm not attracted to McAfee, nor do I trust him. I'm going to be honest. I mean, you know, some things he's doing is cool. And the fact that he's a little bit of a renegade and what appears to be an outlaw seems good. But the half the time he looks like he's uh, on drugs or whatnot. I don't know him personally. He hasn't done anything for me. And, uh, you know, I'll leave it at that. I shouldn't even be talking about another man that I haven't spoke to directly. So it, it is what it is. Very interesting Bible verse, Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30, for those that are into uh, debating the, uh, the wall out there. Thanks to Queen's Races uh, for uh, sharing that with us. Thank you. Uh, Derek says he agrees champ. Uh, he's just a crackhead clown. He just pumps coins. Yeah. But I see Marlon's point too, you know, like that he's on the run and like, there's some rebel attitude to him that attracts people. And I like it too. But you know, when you really pull out and you look at him, it, I, I wouldn't want him personally on, on my team. I'm going to keep it 1000 with you. So, you know, I wish the best for him and perhaps, you know, we can learn something, but, uh, you know, I'm just calling it how I see it. And that's what it is. He posted that he hasn't paid taxes in eight years. And uh, that's cool. I mean, I, I do agree that ta taxation is theft and we've said it before. So, you know. Sky Operator says he's reading the, the, the verses now. Yeah. Thanks to, to Queens for uh, sharing that with us. I heard that this stat that the McAfee staff said that he's just hallucinating the whole IRS thing. Yeah, you don't even know. I mean, you know, I'll leave it at that, guys. I don't I don't I don't find it uh you know, I don't there's no reason for me to be talking bad about McAfee because he hasn't done anything for me or against me. So I'll leave it at that. So check out the store of value. Let's see if uh, you would have gotten into the game in 2016 in September. You'd be up 500%, $626. So check this out. I think that this little calculator is cool. Um, and that's what's up, guys. Check that out. And uh, for my Cardano boomers, check this out. This is not necessarily bullish news. This is actually the opposite. And I don't always share uh, bearish news. But I think it's worth at least paying attention to someone we've had on the stream before and a coin that uh, we are feeling positive on. Uh, but the Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, believes that crypto might take 11 years to recover. So he says uh, in a quote here in one of a, it's quoted in this article, Crypto Daily, it's linked down below. Uh, it might take 11 years for us, the crypto industry, to recover back to where we were in 2017, says Charles Hoskinson. But we will be a dramatically different ecosystem at that point. We'll have millions, perhaps even billions of users. Uh, we will be in many consumer products, be easy to use. Uh, even grandma can use it. <laughs> a lot of the hard stuff will have been figured out. Like if somebody dies, how do we get their private keys? How do we handle taxes? All of the regulations will be done. Okay. 
And then on top of this, Hoskinson said that there's another key point for the evolution of crypto is to attract institutional investors. Uh, there you go. Institutional investors, the big daddies, you know, institutional investors are pretty picky. They're very, very intelligent investors, but then they also require an ecosystem of sophisticated trading strategies and tools. They need derivatives. They need options. They need to get a short sell. And if our markets can get these things, what will happen is that you will no longer see this mass volatility. Okay. All right, that's fine. I mean, you know, I don't care about derivatives. They're not truthful. Uh, options and short sales are toxic to me too. But uh, I see that, you know, some people are only driven by profits. So, you know, that's what it is, guys. Tribeard says, Ripple's the new king. Uh, I doubt it. And uh, <laughs> you know how I feel about Ripple. Uh, I don't trust McAfee, but I love that he's, he... He and Jeff Berwick puts it in the government's eye. Taxes are theft. Government shut down yet. They want us to pay taxes. Government never get any of my crypto. Yeah, I do. I, I like the, the attitude, you know. I like it that he likes to stick it to the government. But, you know, I, I'm with you on that one. I mean, I don't necessarily trust him either. Dang, I can't wait 11 years. Now, nah, neither could I. I, I. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to take that long. Uh, you could see a, another prediction actually right after that. Crypto, Bitcoin and cryptos will see a sharp breakout in the coming years, says the Goldman Sachs back circle CEO. Okay, so I don't know what circles it is, but uh, it's backed by Goldman Sachs. So now they're saying uh, the chief executive of Circle believes digital assets and the blockchain tech behind the Bitcoin will play a crucial role in the future. People throw around crypto like it's a bad thing. It's scary. Guess what? Cryptography is at the foundation of protecting modern society, human privacy. I agree. It's a fundamental tool to our cyber defenses. It's a fundamental tool of every corporation. Sounds acceptable. We see this as much more transformative than even the web. We think that this has a long term arc that will have a far greater impact on our civic institutions and our economic institutions. I agree. The, the, the key thing with Bitcoin is it's unique and it's security and scale. And this idea that we need a scarce non-sovereign store of value that individuals can hold in a protected fashion, that's attractive all around the world. And I think it will be increasingly attractive, says Alaire on this article posted on coingate.com and i seem to agree with it so you know you got cardano founder says it's going to take 11 years and then uh this gentleman here which is associated with the banks as much as i don't like it i seem to agree with him shout out to truce in the building what up boomers i see you truce welcome back to the stream uh, Derek McLean says pay your taxes you don't want the irs on your back just pay them a little bit to keep them off your back uh no comment what's uh cliff martin says 11 years damn charlie lee wouldn't even be that bearish <laughs> you're right uh as soon as the greedy institutions buy up 50 percent of bitcoin supply at between two and three case price the price will skyrocket uh marlon L jones says truce love your channel yeah guys check out truce uh, he's a crypto comedian and uh, he's doing some funny skits there that are crypto based so i appreciate the comedy out there truce keep booming out there it, it appears like some of the boomers are, are rocking with you Rafterman says, hit those likes indeed, guys. Try, touch the buttons. Button up. Button up right now, guys. Caress them, molest them. Just button them up right now. Touch those bells for me. Let the world know that champagne's booming with the best of them. Now we got 30 crypto maniacs worldwide that seem to want to be talking about uh, politics and the wall more than crypto nowadays. So uh, we're going to have to open up another live stream. Uh, we'll, we'll save it for tomorrow. We're going to have an open discussion tomorrow, uh, continue with our general self-improvement. And, uh, and in those chats, we'll, we'll talk about everything ancillary to crypto as well. True says, thanks for the shout. Keep booming. Woo. No problem. Uh, uh, thanks for, uh, for the positive energy out there. It's, I think it's, it's kind of cool that, that uh, what you're doing out there as far as a comedy that's a crypto based. I, I like it. I like it. Major support at two and three K. And I believe this is institutional money buying up BTC. Yeah, they want a piece of it, Marlon. That, that's for sure. They want a piece of it. As their house of cards crumbles, they want a piece of it. Cliff Martin's cooking up some mushroom soup right now. Sounds good. Sounds tasty. I like mushrooms. 
I don't know if they're good or bad, but my understanding is that uh, they have a lot of micronutrients. Yo, champ, I'm late. I'll be on tomorrow. Shout out to uh, Revolutionist, our Cardano General. And uh, maybe you want to check this out, Revolutionist. I just uh, shared this, but maybe uh, you'd be interested. But uh, Mr. Hoskinson, in this interview at CryptoDaily.co.uk, says he believes crypto might take 11 years to recover. Uh, he's bullish, but he, th- he thinks that it's going to take some time. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not uh, happy about an 11-year prediction, but uh, I think it's worth reading this article as well. Derek wants more beautiful Latinas flooding into the country. We don't need no wall. That's funny. Look at the five minute wick yesterday. Price was up in five minutes once we hit 3,200 institutional bots. Yeah, and if you look at this article, and I think you probably saw it already. Uh, is it this article? This tweet by Mr. Moon. Uh, no, this article. Moon Overlord, he says, ETF withdrawn and we didn't move an inch. Looks like people don't want to sell at 3,500. So it seems like, you know, there's some sort of a bottom, whether it be 3,500 or 3,200. Build the wall and the crime will fall. Uh, Awesome slogan. That's an awesome slogan. Whether you believe it or not, it sticks in your mind. It's It's a good tagline. 11 years, that's a long accumulation phase. Yeah, it is, uh, you know, a little longer than we would like, but um, I I don't believe it. I think it's going to be a lot less than 11 years. Yeah, we got this happening coming around 2020, and uh, that's going to impact the price, in my opinion. 11 years to recover, more time to stack at these prices, I will end up with millions of Cardano. Shout out to revolutionists. Did you guys see FUD TV's latest show? Wow. I don't even know what FUD TV is. Queen says, bring only the sexy Mexican girls this way. All right. Uh, Marlon says, Charles needs to focus on building a working wallet and not making price predictions. Great programmer, not so much an analyst. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I, I, you know, Instead of making these 11-year price predictions, just give us something that works already. You're right. You're right. I agree with that. Roger says, 11 years to recover, question mark. I don't think so. Mark D's thinking nine and a half years. So, you know, it looks like most people don't agree with Hoskinson as far as the, how long it takes to recover. Maybe, you know, he's just being conservative and, uh, you know, he doesn't want to raise his expectations, but 11 years, guys, come on. That's basically the, the, the lifetime of Bitcoin. When was Bitcoin uh, went online? 2008 again? We just had like a 10-year anniversary, right? Revolution has said, yeah, he should stick with code. I agree. He's saying that because he wants to stall for time. You got a, an opinion out there, Sky Operator. Listen, I don't want Cardano to be funny bunny and keep giving us uh, you know, promises and not implement an upgrade like they've been promising. So, you know, I'm gonna be critical of them. Although we got revolutionists there holding the bag, you gotta admit, revolutionists, if he doesn't deliver, we're gonna have to call him out. Champ, got to get back to work. Love your podcast or, or stream. Everybody's calling it podcast. Yeah, no problem out there, Queens. Enjoy your work and uh, stack up some more uh, fiat out there. And thank you for tuning in, Queens. I appreciate the love every single day and uh, sending positive energy your way. And thank you for sharing that uh, that verse with us. We appreciate it. Enjoy your day. Nazi Germany and Soviet Union build walls. If you're a lover of free market capitalism like me, then you want to build bridges, not walls. By the way, crime is at an all-time low in the United States. Listen, Israel has a wall as well, and there's a bunch of other countries. China has a wall. So, you know, I think that that's, again, that's that's propaganda. We have walls in our house, okay? We have walls in our house. You know, if you don't believe in walls, knock down all the walls in your house and leave your front door open. I'm calling it a podcast just to bother. Yeah, I know. Shout out to Queens. FUD TV is a daily news show. And the latest show was a crypto chick trying to start an upswing in the market. Literally. Okay. 
I, I, that, that's, that sounds kind of funny. Uh, shout out to Foot TV. They are worth a watch, champ. So they're like another uh, comedy channel? Is it what it is? There you go, Derek. You see, not everybody agrees with me. You got Marlon Jones that more agrees, you know, on, on what you what you got to say. So it's all good. We don't have to all agree out here. It's 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 all it's all good. True says, shout out to Foot TV. They're worth a watch. I just said that. Champ, did uh, you check out the Ellie Powell wallet? That's like a phone. No. No, I haven't checked out a, a the Ellie Powell wallet. That's like a phone. But I remember you mentioning it yesterday. And uh, apparently it's a hardware wallet. Uh, I got to check it out. Yeah. China has a wall on their communists. Yeah, they, they are. And um, I don't believe they made that wall while they were communists. Dab Master J. I haven't seen you in a while, Dab Master. Welcome back. He says he agrees with me, champ. Thank you. I appreciate it. Revolutionist will have his own wall when I uh, he gets his castle. Indeed. I hope so. The wall is the only reason there's still a China. <laughs> That's a good one, uh, Dab Master. Ooh, drop a bomb for that. That definitely is a good uh, rebuttal there. Guys, if you bought a piece of property, okay? With there's, oh, you got If you bought a piece of land, okay? Uh, just a naked piece of land. What was the first thing you're going to do on that piece of land? You're either going to build something that has walls or you're going to fence the, fence the property immediately, okay? That's the bottom line. If you bought a piece of land right now that's completely naked and you want to do something to it, if you're a farmer, if you want to build houses, if you're a developer, what's the one of the first things you're going to do? You're going to build a structure or build a fence. And all these things constitute walls. China built the Great Wall to get rid of the Mongols. Without the wall, China will be speaking Mongolian right now. Damn, Master J says, thanks. Uh, Marlon says, look at them. Israel has radical Islam. Our terrorists have names like John Wayne and our homegrown no Muslim has shot up a school and 9-11 terrorists were in, legally from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, no Muslim terrorist has shot up a school. I mean, like, you know, I don't know. It wasn't uh, the... They didn't shot, shoot up a school, but they shot up a, a, a club, right? Wasn't that guy... Uh, uh, the shut up the gay club in Orlando uh, had to do with the you know again I don't even want to get into this to be honest with you security's power mount says the sky operator yeah it's like you know you're not gonna you're, I don't think you're gonna convince champagne otherwise and uh, and if you don't agree with me I don't think I'm gonna convince you otherwise either so Spain has a big wall around the two cities they have in Morocco check out the videos where they get groups of guys bum rushing just to get torn up yeah the vatican has a wall too hopefully my castle will already have 20 feet walls and maybe a few wolves inside for guard dogs no he wasn't orlando shooter was a red white and blue american okay yeah i you know my understanding was that uh his faith was uh opposite And, and again i don't care Hopefully my castle will already have 20 foot walls and maybe a few wolves on, uh, on the inside for guard dogs. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, we'll talk about more about the wall, I guess, tomorrow. I mean, you guys really want to talk about it, but uh, can't call yourself a capitalist and want to build walls. I disagree. You know how I am, Marlon. I mean, I'm, I'm for free markets and all that, but uh, so, the, the you know, Again, I don't think it's worth arguing. Roger says, no, Orlando Shooter was a Muslim. That, that's my uh, understanding. The revolutionist says, champ, you got sniped out the box yesterday. Walls are built to restrict competi- uh, competition. It's also, uh, they're also built to uh, protect your store of value. It's like private keys are, are, uh, are a wall digital, are, are a digital wall. Okay, like, you know, let's say, you know, what would you leave your, your wallet unlocked? Would you leave your front door unlocked? No, they're a form of wall. So you have a wall in your bathroom. You got a wall in your bedroom. So no.
but an American Muslim. But, not, you know, so what? Just because he's American, I mean, like, you know, that doesn't make any sense to me. Champ got sniped out the box yesterday. Yeah, when you start talking about things, you know, and you say certain things, I think the algorithm picks it up and uh, they sniped us out the box. Shout out to the private key maximalist, LOL. Shout out to you, Truce. Border patrols are all the walls we need. Nah, I don't think so. You guys like the wall talk. We'll leave it for tomorrow, guys. We're, we're, we'll leave the wall talk for tomorrow and uh, other things too tomorrow. I think uh, if you guys don't know, uh, on Fridays we do two live streams, okay? Two live streams. Uh, one is a self-improvement chat and then our regularly crypto uh, chat that we do uh, every morning, spreading that good crypto word. Boom, says Lazor, indeed. Marlon thinks Trump's a traitor and we're, we're being duped. The guy's obviously in bed with the Russians. I don't know. If, if you know, I don't think the, the Russians, uh, my understanding is the Russians don't support us with this Venezuela move that's happening. So I don't know about that either. Chant, check out BOS, Business Operating System. It's an EOS sister chain with upgrades. Yes, we talked about that either yesterday or the day before. Uh, we did cover that. Keep booming, champ. Catch you later. Uh, appreciate it. Truce with the 199. Boom. Truce dropped on $1.99 here in the super chat. We got bills. Funny bunny bills floating off the ceiling. Thank you to Truce. Guys, go check out Truce. Uh, he, I found him funny. He's got a little uh, comedy channel out there. It's all crypto based. So uh, let's support the crypto brothers out here. I disagree uh, with Marlon, but I'm not out here trying to like defend Trump either because the bottom line here is that, I mean, as far as myself, like, you know, left or right, you know, at the end of the day, I don't think that any of these characters are really going to do anything for us. Uh, I'm just happy that uh, Hillary didn't win. How about that? I'm just happy Hillary didn't win. Can we agree with that one, Marlon? How about that? Are you happy Hillary didn't win? Or are you telling me Hillary should have won? Don't give me that one, Marlon. I don't know if I can handle that one. Sky operator says, I concur. She should be in jail. I know. That's the thing, too. Like, uh, I'm going to call up Trump, too, after, uh, you know, saying, oh, we're going to lock these people up. We're draining this, that, and the third, the swamp. I haven't seen any arrest. I don't like that. I want some justice brought. Hillary being president is not a timeline I want to live through. Nah, neither would I. Yo, uh, Sorian says, yo, champ, we get involved in politics also. Apparently, I don't don't even want to take it to this on this stream, but uh, it seems like the boomers want to talk about it. And uh, I'm listening, guys. You know, uh, I'm not so attracted, you know, letting these streams get so political. I think we should leave them for Friday. But uh, guys that, uh, that I respect here have uh opinions to share and uh we'll listen to you guys but uh you know i gotta i gotta keep it you know i gotta idle it too i I can't you know you got you know at the end of the day i don't think that this stream is for that you know so i'll let you use the mic for a little bit but you can't hijack the entire show champ for president sky operator (laughs) nah i don't want to be president you got to be a liar to be a president Let's leave it for Friday. Yeah, we'll talk more about it. It looks like half the stream was talking about that anyway, but it's all good. Uh, Let's recap what we uh, talked about today. The ETF was canceled, okay? I think it's fine that it was canceled. I don't care. Uh, Crypto was not impacted. It looks like the price of crypto was not impacted after all this speculation that, uh, you know, the ETF was going to bring more money in. Maybe that's true or not, 
but uh, it didn't seem to negatively impact the price, which is a good thing. I also uh, shared this BTC store of value calculator, okay? Um, and here it is. And I think this is cool too. Uh, this is a handy calculator to show you how much value you didn't store in Bitcoin. Good luck with the stable coins. So there it is. You know, if you spent an X amount of Bitcoin in the month of whatever, you can pick it. It'll tell you exactly how much it's worth now. Champ, Hillary or Bernie, who do you like better? Uh, neither. I mean, you know, I'd rather hang out with the crazy Bernie, but uh, socialist, I mean, listen, guys, there's no way I'm going to, you know, socialist, no way. Uh, I think that socialism's way more dangerous. Double X says McAfee for president. I'm not going for that one either, guys. We need to stop thinking about these figureheads and these and these idols, guys. I mean, it's like people are like thinking that Trump's going to save them, that uh, Bernie's going to save them, that you know the ETF's going to save them. We need to figure out what we're going to do within our own communities for ourselves. How we're going to improve? How we're going to eat better food? How we're going to have clean water? And how we're going to have value and store our value in a system that is not funny bunny? So that's why we're here with the bits. Kanye 2020. That's an, uh, I, that's funny too. <laughs> I'm the king of my own castle. Kaboom. Shout out to revolutionists. True champ is right. Government's not our God. We need to stand up like real men and take care of ourselves and our family. That's the most important thing. If the U.S. collapses, Bitcoin will skyrocket. If the it's it's not just the U.S. I think it's it's more on the on the World Bank stage. Like if the banking system collapses, but you know let let's separate what this nation stands for, the United States, and what ha it has become. Uh, you know, subservient to these private banks. I want to make uh, continue to make America great, and I think part of that path is to get off dealing with these private banks. Champ, what about uh, we buy some ontology? I, I've been uh, focused on ontology. I've been talking about that a few times. Let's look at the price of ontology. It's down today, 59 cents, rank 28. This was a coin that was originally uh, launched on NEO, and then they uh, went on their own chain is what I'm understanding. Uh, but look at that. But look at that graph, though. A pump and a dump. A pump and a dump? I don't know. BTC needs adoption. Let's start there. Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, it needs more adoption. And uh, it's, it's only a matter of time. There's more people using Bitcoin this year than they were last year, though. So that's a good thing. More teaming up and finding the love is where you win. They want you tearing each other down. They are, they are this and that based on what you look like is noise. Find your inner Gandhi or Mother Teresa. Yeah, but my understanding is that Gandhi was a pedophile. He was sleeping with little girls, guys. I don't know. You know, I'm going to have to question that too. You know, Champagne questions everything. I don't know about Mother Teresa. I haven't found any dirt on her, but uh, I looked deeper into Gandhi and there was some funny bunny there. Correct me if I'm wrong. If the U.S. collapses, the world will go to war as the U.S. war machine will not be around to stop nations going to war. I don't know if that's a meme considering Gandhi, but uh, I've heard those things. We need Litecoin for Bitcoin, says Roger. I don't know if we need Light... Uh, li oh, no, Lightning Network for Bitcoin. Yeah, I think you've mentioned that before, Roger. You know, a lot of people are saying it's a good thing for Bitcoin. I, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if, if I like off-chain solutions. But, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of positive things with the Lightning. So let's give it a chance. 
Original copy says, yeah, Gandhi did sleep with young girls. Pedo Gandhi. Yeah, yeah, guys, you know, look into it. Look, look into it. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I heard uh, Nelson Mandela ain't no saint either. Yeah, I heard something about that too, but I don't know the facts and I haven't looked into it. We'll keep the shutdown going for two more months and we'll have zero economic growth and that will bring recession and money system in serious trouble. The pain is the only uh, thing that will bring the hurt to BTC. One way or another, the hurt's coming to BTC, whether it's the government shutdown or the same thing that happened in 2008, uh, you know, I think we do agree that we need a sound system. I think that, that we could agree on, on, Marlon. We need an honest and sound economic system. So whatever it takes to get there, there's going to be some pain, guys. Let me, let me be honest with you. I think the house of cards is going to fall, and there's going to be a lot of people in pain out there. And uh, that's what it is. You just got to prepare for, brace for impact. Bro, you and Eddie Bravo need to host a podcast together, says Original Copy. Yeah, but I'm not a flat earther. That one, I'm not a flat earther. It's hard to prove the earth is round, but I, you know, it's, 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 uh, I'm not a flat earther. I'm going to be honest with you. I believe that the earth is round from what I've seen. He claimed it was, uh, overcoming his sexual desire vices, um, concerning, uh, Mandela sleeping with children. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, I don't know how true that is, but I've heard, you know, those things on the, uh, on the interwebs. Envision the day when governments are replaced by decentralized governments and these governance systems being developed into crypto. Exactly. And that's why I was originally attracted to something like EOS when it has like a constitution and it's kind of set up somewhat like a government government system. Although I think there's holes in the boat and maybe that's not the solution. I think that it's showing us that, yes, we could... Uh, bring uh, governance into a blockchain. Earth is round. We just had an eclipse. You can see the shadow. Yeah, no, but these flat earthers go hard. Uh, these flat earthers go hard. And uh, I mean, that's a whole nother stream, but I'll leave it at that, uh, you know, I, obviously I do believe the earth is round, but if you start really like trying to prove it a thousand percent, like you could, you could debate that, that just because of, you know, there's a shadow in the eclipse, like that's not a hundred percent. I'm going to leave it at that guys. I, you know, I, I'm not going to get wacky into conspiracies. No champagne is not a flat earther. Okay. But I could see why. Guys like Eddie Bravo and some people believe the flat the earth is flat. I can see why. I don't think they're that retarded. I don't think that, that they're that retarded. Uh, you know, I, I think that they have like a healthy skepticism uh, to a certain extent. And I think it's good to question everything. But no, don't don't call the champagne's not a flat earther, no. EOS EOS is the only crypto with a constitution. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, and I would, and if you're interested in like governance with the blockchain guys, uh, you know that Marlon's bringing that up. Check out Decred as well. Decred is another. Uh, there's a another a coin that has like a governance system that's doesn't have like a constitution, but it's worth checking out. Sky operator says, "Who says that's a shadow of the Earth on the Moon?" <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Eddie believes no one and nothing else he can uh, until he can verify it, which is respectable, but he's gotten too paranoid in my opinion. Too much weed, that will make you paranoid. Yeah, but I do believe, you know, I agree in that one. He he, he believes no, uh, nothing until he can personally verify that. And I think there's, there's a certain healthy aspect to that, but, you know, you could take it too far and become a little bit too paranoid. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to be empathetic to those that have a real open mind and see where they're coming from. Uh, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to downright call him retarded, but, uh, no <laughs> champagne's not a flat earther guys, which made me think that you thought maybe I was a flat earther bringing the, up, uh, uh, that Eddie should be on this, uh, live stream with us. Proof the earth is flat by finding the edge, but yeah, you haven't heard what they say on uh, Marlon that if you travel to the edge, there's a wall that they they built a wall on the edge out there, Marlon. Which is funny to me.
I'm against socialism, but it works well in Sweden and Denmark. All right, then why haven't you moved out there? Go high enough in a plane and you could see a curvature. I don't know, but I'll tell you this, like uh, some of the rockets that have been shot up and uh, that, you know, they, they have like, you know, they're right out of the atmosphere and they're, you know, they're orbiting the earth. You can see an earth, uh, uh, a curvature. So that to me is pretty convincing. Now, a lot of people will say that those are fake pictures or whatnot. I don't know. <laughs> Trump walls the edge of the earth. <laughs> That's funny. This is a crazy uh, chat, a mix of all kinds of subjects. Yeah, this one, this chat got a little out of control, guys. This chat got out of control. Uh, it, it went everywhere. But th- that's okay, guys. That's okay. I, I, you know, I respect all you guys. If it wasn't, if Marlon wasn't uh, here from, the, from day one and, has, and wouldn't have, you know, added value, I, I probably would have thought he was a troll. Uh, and the, you know, or Derek or whatnot, but I know these guys, you know, I know Marlon, I know Derek and, you know, and I, and I know they're coming from a place that's honest. So, you know, even though they've detoured the chat, I think Marlon tried to hijack the microphone today. Uh, and you know, I'm not necessarily happy about that. Uh, you know, I, I give them a pass cause it's family. You know, I, I look at you guys like fam out there and sometimes you don't have to agree with your fam and you can argue with the fam and sometimes at the table or whatnot, but you know, it's, it's crypto brothers out here. The chat was fun though. Yeah, that, that's why I let it run, guys. You know, and you know, if, like I said, if it, if I didn't know you guys, I probably wouldn't be so tolerant, and I probably would have sniped some of these guys out the box. But I know these guys. It's not like Marlon just came out here disagreeing with me, uh, or Derek, or any of these guys. You know, it's it's all good. But uh, I, <laughs> I I I do think that we should stick to the point out here. Stick to the to the title of the video. Keep on going in one direction on the flat earth and see if you can get back to where you started. LOL, says Lazar. Yeah. You know, I got nothing but love for the boomer nation. Indeed. Yeah, I know that, Marlon. Absolutely. My, uh, Revolutionist says he's a big Cardano whale. So you're a uh, top 8% now, Revolutionist? Top 8% now. It's the last time I... I I remember the, you, you posting the, you're a top 8% holder of Cardano. Uh, Derek says he's going back to more Binance shilling. Here's the thing with Binance and you know, I like it. You know, you've kind of, you, you've kind of convinced me more about Binance, but I'll tell you the fact that it's only traded on Binance is a red flag. Now, I do buy into the conspiracy that the NFL is more corrupt than the U.S. government. <laughs> that probably is true. You know how I feel about sports, Marlon. I mean, I, I, as much as I enjoyed sports as a, a young gunner, basketball, football, baseball, uh, and more, I find it hard to, you know, watch sports all the time and, you know, be the Sunday football guy, you know. I know it's a good way to unplug, but I'm not cheering for other men running around with a the ball. They're, they're playing games. The revolutionist says he's not a whale, but a shark. He's in the top 8%. Shout out to him. Roger says Hillary for prison 2019. Boom. With the two euros in the chat box. Here's some more funny bunny bills. My buddy has 500,000 Cardano. Where does that put him? I think you should be asking revolutionist, not Derek. I think revolutionist is, Derek is not the Cardano holder. It's, it's a revolutionist. Certain NFL games are fixed. Agreed. Uh, I I would assume, yeah. I mean, of, 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 you know, thinking about how much money there is in like Vegas and how much people are gambling on these games, they have to be somewhat fixed to a certain degree, right? Marlon, your mate is a whale with 500,000. He is probably in the top 5%. There you go. Is there a blockchain explorer for Cardano that someone could look this up? Uh, 
That's not true at all. You sound like a flat earth earther if you think NFL games are fixed. Wow. I mean, that that that's a long stretch. But uh, just think about it. You know, with all the Vegas money, so many people betting, you think that there is, is there not, let me ask you this question. Is there not a reason to fix NFL games being that there's so much money, uh, you know, being betted on them? Is there not a, don't they have a, a, a what's the word I'm losing, uh, using? Uh, I'm, I'm missing the word here. Um, a motivation, a, a reason to fix the games being that there's so much being uh, bet on these games on, on in Vegas. Now, do I think every single game's fixed? Absolutely not. FIFA proved fo- soccer was fixed. It's definitely happening in the NFL. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah, you're, you're sipping Kool-Aid if you don't think. Now, do I think every single play, every single game's fixed? No, no. I got to go, champ. See you guys tomorrow. I'll, be, I'll, I'll do my best to be here. Well, thanks a, a lot out there, Roger, for the love today. I appreciate you. Let me drop a bomb. We're going over an hour on these live streams, guys. Uh, we were all over the place today, and I appreciate all you maniacs sticking with me. <laughs> I like that. Sky Operator says, I must confess, champ, I'm a flat football fielder. This shit is flat, yo. No evidence of curvature. The edges are sexy cheerleaders. That's funny. Let me drop a bomb for that. Marlon, go to ADA scan and click on my rank. It will tell you your ranking. Okay, there you go. Thank you for letting us know that. ADA scan if you want to know uh, where you stand as far as uh, Cardano Holdings. Marlon's talking about the NFL uh, Gatto with Pan, Pat, uh, the Pats owner at the AFC Championship uh, in uh, KC. It's in Partial. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what happened there or not because I haven't been following it. But uh, I'm not surprised if things have been rigged, guys, at all. All right, guys, we've been going for a little bit too long today. 107. And, uh, I feel like this was one of the more sloppier broadcasts uh, but it was fun. Nonetheless, it was fun. So I, I appreciate it. And uh, it seems like you guys want to talk about things aside from crypto. And as I said uh, last week, I'm thinking about doing a second live stream per week in addition to the Friday live streams. Because the Friday live streams, although there is an open discussion, they're more focused on general self-improvement, crypto diet and exercise. So like the politics and the conspiracy theories have snuck in there. But, um, you know... That's not the main focus, although I, I I allow it, but it seems like you guys want to talk about those things. So maybe I'll open up uh, another broadcast for that, but I got to figure out how we're going to do it in a positive way. I don't want to be arguing back and forth and try to, you know, I don't want to make it a big argument either. Uh, you know how, how champagnes focus on positivity, building instead of destroying. So, you know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to think about it. But, uh, you know, it's something I'm considering because I see that you guys like to talk about things that are ancillary to crypto. ETF is going to rig Bitcoin prices like the NFL games, right? Good chat. See you guys later. Shout out to Lazor. Enjoy your day. Sure, there may be a ref here and there that's paid off. But to say the NFL games are fixed and rigged is a joke. I don't know. I think the joke may be on those that think it's not fixed. Now, again, you know, are, do I believe the majority of the games are fixed? No, no. But uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's more than you think. NFL equals WWE wrestling. And not just NFL, guys. You could say the same argument for NBA, too. But I'm out of my league because, uh, you know, Champagne's not tuning into sports lately. So, you know, that's what it is. They fake the moon landing footage. You don't think they can fix a game? Come on, son, wake up. Yeah, you know, we, we'll, we can get to the moon landing later on. The, you know, I know people are going to freak out with the moon landing as well. 
uh, you know, you, you start dropping too many red pills on one uh, broadcast, you'll probably get sniped out the box. We're a little bit too deep into that. We'll leave that into to uh, next time. Next time we could talk about uh, the NFL rigging. We could talk about the wall. We could talk about the moon landing and whatnot. Champ is tuning into the bits in the charts, not the NFL. You're right, Marlon. You know, that's, I, don't, I don't even know who's in the lead or not, you know. Someone was asking me the other day, you know, what I thought about the Saints. And, I, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going on, guys. What proof do we have that it's all rig, uh, uh, rigged? I'll wait for facts. I don't have any direct proof. Uh, you know, I'm just, you asked me what I thought and someone asked me and I, and I, and I, and I, I wouldn't doubt it. Do I have facts? No, I don't have facts that it's rigged. No. I'm sure there is facts out there. Someone just mentioned something on CBS or whatnot. I lost that comment. But uh, I'll let the boomers discuss that. And uh, that's out of my league. I don't know, guys. You know, I don't know. That's not something that I, I've done enough research with to really debate. Now, the other topics, though, the other topics that we've been t t touching on, uh, I'm a little bit more educated on. And, you know, I could speak more about them. But as far as like rigging and sports and whatnot, I, I don't know. As far as the charts go, go, Bitcoin Cash is looking good for a bounce to a 190 range. Okay. Someone mentioned that earlier this week, like Bitcoin Cash was going to boom and then yesterday it was up. So we'll keep it in, all, in our radars. The Bitcoin dominance is more important than the Super Bowl winner. Absolutely. I can agree with that. And then uh, Copy says, but long term, it, may, it could go much higher, like in the several hundreds. Yeah. Listen, I'm not convinced that uh, Bitcoin Cash is going to go away. I think it's going to stick around. I think Bitcoin Cash is going to stick around. And uh, let me be clear, I'm not a Bitcoin Cash uh, holder, so I, I really don't care if it sticks around or not. Uh, but, you know, from what I'm seeing here, I think it will. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and sign out. I appreciate this broadcast, guys. Once again, I had a good time, although it was sloppy and all over the place. Uh, you know, sometimes you need it. So shout out to Copy, Marlon Jones, Derek McLean, Jigger Romes, uh, Lazor, and the rest of the boomers out there. Thank you to Rafterman. Thank you to Roger Oliver and the rest of the boomers there uh, that dropped the, some fiat into the super chat bucket. Indeed. Uh, catch me tomorrow, guys. I'll be back with the double the streams, double the fun. And, uh, you know, keep those thoughts in your mind if you want to go ahead and debate them. And, uh, you know, Champagne is not afraid about talking things about things out here. So we'll go ahead and do that. You think Satoshi Vision will stick around too, says Jigger Romes. No, I'm not convinced with uh, Satoshi Vision. And we could talk about uh, a conspiracy theory that uh, that Satoshi Vision has something to do with like the AI, some AI that's on the Bitcoin blockchain. I came across some crazy conspiracy there. Maybe we'll share it tomorrow. Woo woo, I just listened today. Have a good one, champ. Shout out to Dr. Puff and stuff. Thanks for letting us know you were here. Boom. Indeed. Shout out to you. On that note, guys, I'm out of here. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest. I'll be back tomorrow. Keep booming out there.